Hi, this is Karen. Welcome to another Simple Stamping Tuesday at Doolally Crafts. This is the card we're making today using very um, limited supplies. I haven't even used my stamp positioner with this one because this is aimed at the beginning stamper. Following on from my um, post on Sunday regarding joining Stamping Up as either uh, a hobby demo or a normal demo, I wanted to showcase the fact that even with one stamp set, you can make a really nice birthday card. And it's stamped on the inside as well, carrying over the theme from the front of the card to the inside of the card. And as you can see, really limited supplies. It don't, it, supplies. Sorry, I haven't got my bottom teeth in. Um, yeah, we're using three colours of ink. Sorry, four colours of ink. We've got Pineapple Punch, Lemon Lime Twist, Call Me Clover, and of course the basic black um, Memento ink. Now, I'm also using just scraps of the Call Me Clover and Lemon Lime Twist, and I've got the two Whisper Whites, the heavyweight for the card base and just the layering weight the original whisper white for the top um, layer now i've also added just some of the share what you love um, artisan pearls only because they were just handy um, you could use diamond diamantes or rhinestones whatever you want to call them or pearls and if you've got um, alcohol markers you can color them to match uh, but yeah, it's a really basic card. Okay, as usual, all of the sizes can be found on my blog. It's a side folding card base that I'm actually doing um, on a horizontal fold. Just give it an extra crease here to keep it nice and flat. Now, as I said, all the sizes and everything can be found on my blog. From memory, this is three... Uh, three inches yeah three inches by four and a half so it's basically an inch shorter on all four sides than the front of the card and then this just goes down by a quarter of an inch each time so you've got an eighth of an inch border oh I've got a few fuzzies on that piece looks like I need to replace my blade anyway um as I said, all of the dimensions can be found on my blog. So what I'm going to do, because it's um, coloured cardstock and it's a little bit thicker than our Whisper White, um, so the Tombow isn't going to show through on the coloured cardstock, and besides, it's going to be hidden anyway. I'm just going to use some Tombow on the back of this, just so that I get the border even all the way around and just give that a bit of a smooth out and that'll just press the um, the glue around underneath that layer so there we go we've got a fairly good placement on that however with this piece I will be sticking it on with um, some um, snail that it's contraband snail because I haven't placed an order yet um, I'm just trying to smooth out those edges a little bit, but we're going to stamp the front of the card before I actually pop it onto the base. So I'll bring in my Lemon Lime Twist and my Call Me Clover. Move that out the way. Now, I had a bit of an accident when I, <laughs> when I was putting the sample together. I had a little bit of an accident. As you can see, I've... Um, had to clean off the ink pad because I ended up with Call Me Clover all over my Lemon Lime Twist because I stamped into the wrong ink pad. So I'm just smoothing out the Lemon Lime Twist now. As you can see, my ink pad is quite dry. I need to re-ink it. So I've got to keep these pieces separate. Now, the three... Um, the three uh, candle bases are done in the lemon lime twist. 
just going to try and get as much as in ink as possible. Now, with this one, I'm going to stamp them off to the side. Now, I'm not using any type of stamp positioner with this because I want to show that even a beginner stamper with very few supplies can actually make these cards. They're so easy to make. So I'm just eyeballing position there. They might go up a little bit. Oh, they're not too bad. So that's all I need my lemon lime twist for on the outside. Now I'm going to turn this round. I've got um, my E block and I've got the candles mounted on each corner. So I'm just going to bring that in and eyeball that and place that over the top of the first candle. Re-ink it and then do it on the third candle. So I've got those two candles looking the same. And then I'm going to bring in the last candle here and stamp that. They're not looking too bad. Okay, pop that aside and I'm going to bring in the flame and my pineapple punch. And I'm just going to, I might move that to the side because I ended up with pineapple punch all over this stamp block. So if you've got really small um, images, just put them on the corner. Just enough so that you can see around them. See how I've got that placed there on the corner there. So I'm not getting ink all over the place and I'm just tapping the side of the ink pad. So we'll do one, two, three. So that's that part done. And I'm just going to come in with a black pen and just draw the wick because of course that's going to be darker anyway. And I'm just coming in with my, oh I haven't got much of this left either, I'm really running out here of my, um, I do have another one but I want to make sure I get as much use out of what I've got left on my Wink of Stella as possible and then what I'm going to do is top the barrel up with water so that um, I can use it as a paintbrush. I'll use all of the glitter that's left stuck here and what's left in the barrel and take that black thing out and I'll be able to fill that with water and I'll have a glittery water pen. To use so I do have another one here that I did the same thing this has got water in but it's running out but as you can see there's still plenty of glitter in there so this is going to last forever and a day and have nice bits of shine so as you can see the flames on those candles I hope you can see are glittery now, if you can hear noise, it's still quite heat warm here in Melbourne. It's very overcast outside and we've got all the windows closed because there are currently bushfires over in Phillip Island. So God bless everybody over there. And we've also got fires in Tasmania. And there's also been fires locally down in Dramana and Rosebud and everything. So I hope everybody down there is doing okay. Um, our thoughts are with you so we're just surrounded by smoke at the moment but at least we're not as bad off as the people who are actually in the smoky area or the fire areas okay back to the card I've got my happiest of birthdays to you which will go on the front of the card now because this is all um, written in a handwriting font I'm trying to line up, and my head's going to get in the way here, trying to line up the 2U, which is more of a traditional font, with the bottom of the cards to try and get that part straight. I may or may not have done it because I can't look directly down. That one's not too bad. Okay, so we've got that bit done. 
Now, we're going to bring the card base back in before I do everything else. It's a bit grotty on the inside. I'll have to use an eraser to get that muck off. But I will flip it over that. No, it's got to be done that way because that's the leading edge. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in. I will stick this to the front of the card or this to the, um, the matting layer. And once again, we've got a quarter of an inch or thereabouts around the edge. So there we go. That's our front part that's now adhered. And I'm going to bring in some scrap of my... Now, which... That's the leading edge, so I'm stamping on the front there. I'm going to tuck that in there so that it's kept safe. And so that I don't make the mistake I did earlier, I'm going to bring my lemon lime twist in first. And I'm going... To, no, that's right. <laughs> Get it round the right way, Karen. I'm going to bring in my Call Me Clover first. Because I discovered there's a knack to putting these bows together and I'm just going to stamp all over the edge of this card. Now I'm not doing the middle because the middle will actually uh, be covered by our layering piece. So I'm just putting this around the edges. I want to make sure that it's well and truly covered here. Okay. And I might just put another one there. That one's going to overlap a bit, but see what I mean? Because I've put it in the middle and tapped, I've got a very juicy pad. So I've got ink all over that. That's going to take a while to clean off. <sighs> okay. Pop that aside. And bring in my lemon lime twist. Now. To stamp this. We just look through and line up. I'm just lining this piece up here because I know that the pointy bit there actually goes into that area. There we go. So we now have the front of the card stamped and as I said it's really easy you just marry up the hollow parts that you can see in that one with the solid parts that are in that one okay bring in our layering piece and our dimensionals and pop four around the edge and I'm going to pop two in the middle just as support there we go one two three Or you might notice I've actually got my nails done again. My second daughter's wedding is coming up very shortly and I needed to make sure that I'm going to be able to function with nails on again. But also my nails are so soft without um, the SNS on. I only had them done less than a week ago and my nails grow so quickly. But yeah, I'm just trying to get used to working with <laughs> having them back on again. Okay, so that's the front of the card done. 
open it up inside, and as I said, I'm going to have to get an eraser and get rid of the mucky bits there. But, in with... Sorry if you heard that, my husband's just gone out to check the mail. Forgetting that I'm filming, so when the screen door closes, it makes a heck of a racket. He has to close it quickly, because otherwise Houdini the cat gets out. No, that's not the cat's name. The cat's name's Latte, but he acts like Houdini. Okay, I'm going to pop that towards the bottom there. And then come in once again with Lemon Lime Twist for the base of the candle. I'm just going to stamp it off to the side here. I thought that was a perfect area for it to go. And then some of the Call Me Clover again. And our dots. Line that up. And close the ink pad so I don't dab in the wrong one. In with the pineapple, pineapple punch one more time. Put our flame on. I think these smudges, I must have some dirt on my um, on my paper trimmer and it's smudged off on there. Okay, in with our Wink of Stella one more time. Just to give that a bit of a Glean, and then just with my black texture for the wick and that's the inside of the card finished and the outside finished now I'm just going to put a couple of the um, the pearls just at the top here I might actually put them to the side I've changed this card a little bit from the original. My nephew's birthday is at the end of this week, so this was an impromptu birthday card for him, and I thought it would make an ideal simple stamping card. So there we go, that's the card finished. There's the sample much preferred the candles to the side to having them across the front. I think the darkness of the candles sort of muddies the sentiment a bit so I'm a lot more pleased with that one. I love the placement there. Um, even down here they looked okay. I could have put them down here on this one or up the top but there was a lot of white space there to, that I wanted to cover up. But as you can see, it's really easy to do a simple stamping card and make it look really nice. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how the uh, how this one turned out with a bit of rejigging. So I hope you've enjoyed today's card and if you've got this stamp set that you'll give it a go. I don't think I mentioned the name of the stamp set. This is the Picture Perfect Birthday and it's got lots of sentiments. As you know, I'm a real sentiment girl. So if they've got nice sentiments and some fancy fonts, I'll buy the stamp set. So, yep, so we use the Picture Perfect Birthday, Lemon Lime Twist, Call Me Clover, Pineapple Punch, and the Memento. So a very simple card using minimal supplies. And as I said, the cardstock was just a scrap. You could have even I could have even brought in some of the black and done a really fine edge around the um, white the, the white sentiment layer and then had the other colours a little bit further around just to give it a bit more pop. But I hope you'll agree that this turned out quite nice. Okay, that's enough from me and I hope you have a great day and I will see you on Thursday for a throwback. Okay, bye-bye.